Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up on what my workflow is like. So I do a lot of projects. I'm involved with a lot of different things. And so it's important that not only do you have a great development area set up, but that your workflow is really streamlined. So what I mean is, in this particularly, I'm going to kind of focus on version control. Okay, There's a lot of version control, a lot of people on SVN, a lot of people on Git. I'm going to be focusing on Git today because it's uh, I've already done SVN stuff. And Git is just way more reliable, in my opinion, for doing programming. So what's an idea of a, of a workflow in general? Okay, well, it starts with code. So first of all, you're going to be coding, you're going to be making changes. Okay, then your second step is you actually need to test those changes. So you've got a browser, and then you're going to have your application here to test with. Okay, and that's going to be on your local host, right? So you have your local host with your testing. Okay, and then you'll have your remote server for testing. Your remote server being... Um, you know your your development server, and then you finally will probably have a live site to test on, and that's really you you should have that. You should have your local system, and then a dev server, and then th then the hosting server. Okay, and some might even have a staging server as well. You know, if you're doing this professionally, you should have these different levels of launching. But uh, in general, we're going to talk about uh, having your local host and having your development server, both of which should be checked out with a Git repo that your project should have. So I'm assuming that you already have a Git repo for your project, and it's already checked out on your local host, and you have a development server, and it's already checked out there. Now, if you need a development server or a staging server, I have a video about how to build that on Rackspace, and that's what I'm using here. So I can actually uh, have this tool. This is actually my um, this is terminal, but I have a special thing called Total Terminal. That uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Total Terminal. Total Terminal, which allows me to hit my Control key twice, and it pops down Terminal. So Let's talk about the actual setup, okay? So step one I'm going to do is I'm going to code. I'm going to code, make some changes. Then I'm going to pop over to my new favorite application, which is called Tower. Tower is a Git GUI. Now, Git is really easy to do from the command line, but it's really nice to do with this tool. This allows me to, to visualize everything going on with Git, so it's really nice. I can see a nice history of everything that's going on with Git. It's just really nice, and I can browse my current changes and such like that. So you code hop over to, to uh, Tower, and you commit your changes with a message, then you push them to the server, or you pull first, depending if you're working with someone else. Then you hit Control twice, and you update. Okay, So that's how the process works, and then you test it. So let's make a change and see how that works. So I'll go into this app controller, and I'll save it. Okay, And now I'll go to Tower, and we'll see that... Uh... Oh, I must not have actually made a change here. So let's just add an extra space. Let's say okay, and now okay. So now Tower says, "Hey, I've got a file that needs to be added or edited." Okay, so I'll just hit Stage All, and I'll hit Commit, and I'll type in a message. Uh, this is for the video, and I'll hit Enter. Oops, and I'll actually hit OK. It'll commit that up, and then I will hit Push, and that will push it to my development server. Normally, I would want to test it here locally first. So even before I do that. Pull, pop up my application and test to make sure my application works first locally. Then I'll push my changes up to the development server for everyone else to get. So pushing changes, hit OK. Now at this point, I need my development server to get pull. So I just hit Control twice and I hit the up key because I've already uh, I've already CD I've already previously CD'd into my correct directory on the on the development server and I've already typed git pull once so I just hit enter so I hit up and enter it pulls those changes and comes back down and now I can actually test that okay so that's how easy it is so let me go through that one more time super fast okay so I'll make a quick change I'll delete this line save so here's me testing so I'll go here stage all commit still in the video enter Control, Control, Up, Enter, and now I've got my changes live on the development server. Okay, so that's a really great technique for having a development environment, and what it really does is it really streamlines your process, so you don't forget to use version control. A lot of the problems with people using version control 
is that they off it's it they, it's often too convoluted to continue using it and it and it really takes away from the workflow and you don't use version control properly. So using something that's this quick of a process, I mean, it literally takes me just three seconds to commit changes and making sure I'm on version control. That means I'm tightly integrated in version control. I can always track back if I need to. That means me and everyone else working on my project is all on the same page, and it means that I'm actually using my my local host and my development server properly. Clients can check it, and everything just kind of meshes together perfectly. So if you're getting into bigger projects and you're starting to work with multiple people and you're using Git, I highly recommend a program like Tower, and I highly recommend Total Terminal for these keyboard shortcuts and are, are having this uh, ability to quickly stage and develop. Thanks.